Is it the face? No. Is it the shirt? No. Is it the tights? No. That's the shoe is why we are going to talk to her. The best way to get ready for five finger shoes if you get good at barefoot running <laughs> and then you can put them on and you'll be safe. So indeed, if I have to run in shoe, which I hardly ever do, here's my witness, but if I do, I put on five fingers and that feels good. But if you put on five fingers right away, you have to be very smart how you do it. You have to consult with a specialist, someone who understands this, so they can structure your program for you so your feet not gonna get destroyed. Vibram Five Finger is doing a great job putting a lot of educational material out there how to do this. So just make sure you look into it if you use Vibram Five Fingers. If you want to run barefoot, in my humble opinion, that is the easiest, the no-brainer way of going about running. Because you just simply can't run more than you can handle. Because your feet are going to soar so much that you just cannot bear it to walk on your bare foot. That's why I love it so much because you don't need to think about it. Your body will tell you how much you can handle. Is there any amount of pain you should try to work through in the beginning? Because really, I mean, even just walking is gonna be excruciating on tiny pebbles and, and sticks and things that you're not used to feeling. But running, those first few steps mm -hmm. are, are going to hurt. So someone will probably wonder, okay, does that mean I should stop after four mm, steps? Yeah. Sweetie, this is an awesome question. No one ever asked this, <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's an educated question because she had tried it and she suffered with that. And it's not like it she never, and she, it's <laughs> not like she never walked barefoot. No, sometimes I'm able to make her do it. The reason why this happens because on your foot there is this highly pressure sensitive proprioceptors, and what that means that you can step on a pebble which your system notices because your foot is so sensitive and it shoots the message up that oh you got to change the way how you're landing and if you're not used to it that pain you misunderstand for injury you think oh my god my 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 foot is splitting in half on that pebble but in reality it is just a highly pressure sensitive cells proprioceptors telling your brain that you need to adjust the way how you are shifting your body weight onto that foot while you're standing on a pebble the pain shows up always as a much more invasive sensation until you get used to it and eventually you know what that means your body is able to react to it quicker when i run for example i don't look at my feet i don't look at any kind of areas i just run through everything that doesn't mean i don't feel the surface I feel every single pebble on my foot. I'm able to keep shifting my body, optimizing the way how I land. It doesn't really hurt. Oh wait, this is a very complicated way of explaining So that. let me just put it in a different way. Thank you. There is sharpness from pebbles. And there's no actual damage happening in your body. No, yeah. So how do you differentiate? What is the pain you feel when you should stop? I think you just need to experiment with it. Meaning you will step on a rock and I remember this with many people I, I worked together with that they stepped on something and they're like, oh, this hurts so much. They look at their foot and there was nothing there, you know? And they're like, oh, I guess it feels worse than what I, actually it is. It takes a while at the beginning. You just need to be patient with yourself and not to worry too much about how you're supposed to do. Just listen to your body. If it hurts, stop, look at it and see no damage was caused. And over time, you will get more and more and more comfortable with it. Contrary to most common belief, if you run barefoot, your foot actually becomes more sensitive. This is an oxymoron for most. You know that my foot is incredibly tickly. So you touch my foot with one finger and I jump through the roof. Better barefoot runner I am, the more sensitive my foot is. Again, it's very hard to understand, makes no but sense. makes no <laughs> sense, but that's in actuality, this is what happens. The sole of your feet become like eyes. Do you remember when we ran together and I closed my eyes while running down on the hill? And for a long period of time, I had my eyes closed and I can feel my way down, literally just feeling the ground, which is very, very difficult to comprehend until you have some experience. So the pain will be your friend, but not because you're supposed to push through the pain, but because you start to learn it understand that that pain is not serious. Secondly, it's just gonna guide your body to shift differently your body weight so you don't push into that pebble, for example. Well, thank you for watching. We hope you found this 
um, to be informational. Is that a word? <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you found it informative. Ooh. This area is YouTube Central in Los Angeles. This is where a bunch of famous YouTubers live. YouTubing is not necessarily my generation's shenanigan. It's, it's, it's goofy. I'm not even going to use this. So. <laughs>